What's up, you guys? My name's Hutch. I make videos, put them on the internet, and uh, about once a month, I react to an old video that I was a part of. I asked you guys on Twitter this morning what you guys wanted to see me react to, and um, I liked a lot of your suggestions, but this one stuck out the most to me. Uh, it was just a lot of fun to shoot this video that I'm about to that I'm about to watch here. This is from August 9th, 2011. So that was uh, a little over five years ago. Let's get into this. When you got to kill absolutely every mother in the room, except no substitute. I think what is that? What is that? A, what's that fucking from again? Is that um, Pulp Fiction? Jackie Brown. I don't know what that's from. What's up, you guys? So uh, our friends at Top Shot gave us a call. They rang. So this was during my I don't give a fuck about anything stage in life. Um, I can tell you there was a lot of a lot of marijuana in in my life at that time. Not a whole lot of sense of uh, urgency about style or fashion. Pretty laxed rules on hygiene, I think, altogether. No, that's an exaggeration. Maybe not. The respawn red phone. We're like, how would you guys like to see how good you are in real life at the stuff you do in video games all the time? Like, what is like, going on with my hair? Yes. Yes, please. This, I think is exactly what we said. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're here. We're out here. Like, Wood didn't think to pull me aside and be like, yo. And we are. Let me, let me tame that cow look. Different weapons. And we're having some personal little contests. We're having our own little top shot to see who my, really is the top shot. I can't stop and staring at it. I got, it's it going in the back, it's going yes, in two different yes, directions. Yes, and in the front, it's going in two different directions. It's like a, uh, yep. it's like a quad it's part. Here in this area. This area, not so much. This is like a uh, fail town. Over does this double like, as, does this range double as an art gallery? Yeah. Because I'm not really sure what's going that, on. That, I don't know. Postmodern. <laughs> I th I'm Central thinking of what was that game that you put the, the pieces in the uh, Tetris? Hey, not boy, Tetris. No. Oh, hey Dennis. How's hey. It? I can't hey, remember if that was uh, an AK-74 well, in his hand or what that was. Okay. This is our resident uh, gun expert here. You guys ready uh, for your next challenge? Holy crap! Is that an AK? Yes, it Touch. is. Just calm down, man. Well, it's yeah. not yeah. pointing at you. He's using. So ex he's an expert. All right. So. There was something that happened when uh, when Sark and I first started doing on-camera stuff together, where we just like without even really talking about it, we all we we both just kind of filled these roles. Like, um, how do I how do I explain this? He was more like the laughable idiot, and I was always the frustrated guy trying to play it straight. And when when we first started doing stuff, like yeah, like I said, there was no I don't think there was a whole lot of coordination in the beginning. It was just. That's kind of like what felt like the right thing to do at the time. And then when Nanners came in, it provided some pretty cool opportunities for for some jokes and funny moments because he literally is such a the straight guy, you know. So by the by the time the Nanners came in, I think Sark and I were both kind of playing the village idiots, and then Nanners was the one that was playing it straight. But using expert yeah. defenses, there does this go. have anything to do with the AK-47? Yes, it does. The next challenge is going to be close quarter shooting okay. with an AK-47. You guys ready to try kind it? Of shooting that I ever did. So yeah, we we got we got the opportunity to to um, to shoot. I think it was like 18 different guns doing this promotional video for uh, for Top Shot, which I think was on History Channel. Um, and then yeah, we yeah we we I wasn't too excited about this about this um, video because I've never been like a huge gun person, but it ended up being uh, pretty educational and a lot of fun for me. So there's that. Do with an AK. Uh, Back yeah. in the conflict. Yes. No. Seriously. You make it so weird when you talk about your war history. Totally got this. Okay, for this challenge. The guys are going to be doing double taps with an AK-47 onto colored command targets. We're going to be firing two, 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 and two. It's going to be time. Nanners was so fucking good at these count. too. It really pissed me off. Go. It is slowly forcing me more and more back. Like, look at watch. <laughs> My stance is awful. Why am I not like leaning into it? That gun is not made for people like me, I really don't think. I have to 
watch that again. Hold on. Watch me go like slowly more. Okay. Go. The recoil is so powerful. It's just <laughs> wood has to adjust the frame because I keep going back. Oh, good times. All right. Uh, let's get bed. Yeah, and then he ends up just coming in and just making it look easy. If you miss a shot, you get penalized five seconds. And I was right behind Sark. Yep. Which I basically is... won this because I'm the fat one. I'm gonna say. Did no you see my? Did you see there. my chest? My. Uh... Yeah. Show him your. Uh, show him your boobs. So I'm gonna derobe. Yeah. Go ahead. What happened to you? What happened? <laughs> I think I, I had push? something similar, to be honest. <laughs> Push my shoulder. What did I just do? No. Yeah, go ahead. What you happens see? if I push it? Ah, you <laughs> Ouch. Push my I got nanners to say no. fuck. It doesn't even hurt. Oh, that. that that's a that <laughs> was a very rare thing Fat back in the day. People are good at guns. Da, 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 da. Dennis, what's our next challenge? Okay. I think he swears now, but back then it was it was kind of like sighting a unicorn. Now let's see that what they can do doing close quarter battle with a real gun. Winchester 1873 lever action. This time they're going to be firing eight because that's how much this gun holds. They got to be more precise. Let's go. I don't yeah, remember shooting this, but you I don't. I like this gun. These are the kind of guns that I had like toys as a kid. Oh. Remember like the money guns were the ones with the bolt action on them. With the little hundred percent. Yeah. If you just had like Nerf, a gun where you pull the little trigger, it was like, things that shoot the, the suction like, darts. Hey, oh, Anything with a lever action made me feel incredible. Good thought. I thought I was gonna that was a good, good story. <laughs> Shooting these guns, like I said, it's like... I'm not, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, so I only like the guns that don't have a lot of recoil. I don't think this one's bad. Those rounds are hot. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a little casing would come out and like land on your sleeve or something, kind of burn you. Yeah, if you gun people in the chat, let me know what I'm doing wrong with my stance here. I know I'm doing something wrong. I feel right, like so I'm backing away from shooting it. You know, wanna, you want to know the difference between winning and losing? About a millimeter right oh there. God. Boom. Who's the top shot? Mr. Sark. He's the top shot. Wait, did he win that one? Mr. Sark. I'm colorblind, Nobody's so tougher really. than Mr. Sark. <laughs> <laughs> I see, uh, Dude, I you see were, yellow. Let me, see, let me see that thing. Dude, you're so lucky. Come on. I have a hard time with blue. My real name is Scott, and I'm a top shot. Next I was time. terrible at shooting. Dennis, what's our I was not a naturally gifted marksman. <laughs> okay. Enough with the paper targets. Now it's time to go pig hunting. I'm going to pig hunting a little bit different. I'm going to be using a Oh, we shot an AUG, yeah. Assault rifle. This gun was this fun. Gun, gonna be shooting the sight in this one, it was like a, a tiny little the black dot. Target, that's 75 yards. It as looks as like the uh, the ACOG scope in uh, up on the hill. Modern Warfare 2? Each person, yeah. 20 shots. All that counts here is the number of hits. Let's go. I'm just going to shoot really fast. That's not fast. I think I hit it a couple times. You hit it like every time. Nanner's just shot 95% with this thing, but he took his time. Hutch went full bore, shot 50%. I'm shooting for 100% full bore. My name's Mr. Sark, and I'm the top shot.
concludes stage seven with the AUG. Dennis, how did we do? You guys did pretty good. Some of you shot fast, some of you shot slow. Here's some, some of you shot awesome. <laughs> some of you shot awesome. 50%, 10 out of 20. <laughs> you could have said the fastest part. Going fast. Thanks. Of course. Yeah. Appreciate that. Slowing down, a bit mm. more deliberate. Mm. You know you know what's something funny about him was that uh, there was another guy that was that was there with us that was helping with, I don't know what he was helping with, gun safety? I'm not sure. He was just there to, like, I think just, just um, supervise everything. And him, <clears throat> the guy in the blue shirt, I can't remember his name, and then the other guy, too, uh, uh, one of them said I looked like a twink in, in, in like, a porno movie. And then it just became this running joke for, like, the two days that we shot that I was, that I was the twink. I had to work under these conditions, people. Mm -hmm. 18. Wow. 90% nice. hits. There we go. Nice. However, 19 hits. Oh. 95%. Oh. We have a king of the odds. GG. GG. I think At this point, I felt pretty discouraged. Say this is our favorite gun of the day so far. Yeah. Easily. Aug, Aug reigns right now for us. That gun was uh, awesome. What gun are we doing next, Dennis? Well, next gun we're gonna use is a full auto MP5. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I've got an idea for this. Yeah, I've got an idea. For so, hold on one sec, you guys. We didn't tell you guys, but we were shooting MP5. blanks so at hot. this part. MP5. You can see my uh, my Chinese Buddha tattoo. I got when I was 19 years old. One of the most painful things I'd ever done. And uh, the original intent was this was going to be the outline. I was going to go back and get it colored. It ended up hurting so bad that uh, um, I just never went back. So maybe one of these days. I'm not sure. I don't know why Sark told us to take our shirts off, but we went for it. So hold on. Let me let me let's get the full breadth of that. MP5. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Uh, you know what? I've got an idea for this. Yeah. I've got an idea for Hold on one sec, you guys. He didn't ask MP5. us. So hot. MP5. He just told us we were taking our shirts off. I felt so exploited. I think Nanner's looks particularly particularly demonic in that one. And then it it <laughs> It's jammed. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our MP5 beauty contest. What do you guys think? Who was the most beautiful with the MP5? Got it right now, man. It's kind of I think we got to turn officially for the official ruling. We got to turn to to Dennis, yeah. uh, who's gonna give us. To my uh, knowledge, this is the only model. respawn yeah, episode yeah, where yeah. we were um, in here, Dennis, where, where, where we were all we topless together. Beauty well, this may be the only. <laughs> so I think uh -oh. I win. Well, he does win. He does have a good point. Wait, yeah. did you shoot the... No, he doesn't even need it. No, he doesn't need it. Do I have to? It's his gun. I mean... I don't know. You tell me. This no? is I mean, it is Dennis. So. Yeah. yeah. Dennis. Yeah, that's it. Was. He was a nice guy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For letting Thanks us come out here. So, it turns out Dennis is the top shot. And with a score of four <laughs> event wins, I'm second place. Nanners, three. three. You got third place. Hutch didn't win. I, I won dick. So... That entire contest. What else is new? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah, Dennis, amazing work. Yeah, Hutch, Thanks. good job. You'll also notice, I don't know, little known fact about me. You guys may not know it. That is, uh, that's a that's a dent in my chest, uh, which is caused by a condition called pectus excavatus, uh, which basically means that your sternum or like the center of your rib cage here doesn't grow, uh, while the rest of your body does. So when you get bigger. You end up kind of like with this depression in your um, in your uh, in your uh, chest region. Little known fact about me: I've had surgery on it twice. Dennis, amazing work. Yeah, Hutch, thanks. good job. Nanners, bring it in here. Give me some sugar. Um, Give me some sugar, you guys. Uh, oh, you're sticky. It was so hot sticky. and sweaty when he did that. Yeah, on, he yeah. knew I was down. Oh, I'm down. Good work, man. Thanks. That's. <laughs> Oh, I'm a child.
We'll see what he put here. Why? What is this? This is your outtake one? Okay, I think I can end it there. All right, that's going to do it for um, reacting to this old school video. If you guys have some um, suggestions for the next one, leave a comment uh, and let me know, and I'll take a look at those, and then I'll ask you guys again in about a month on Twitter um, what you guys think I should react to next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.